for me, that's the that's the thing that I'm constantly getting bullied on, constantly getting trolled on because they use my picture and they put it next to like a crazy horse or a sitting bull right. and say, look, it, she's the real Native American and this is the fake one. Right. And I think that that is erasure. You're erasing a whole people by doing that and saying that they're not real. Mm -hmm. And by saying that, and see, the thing is, is that we all have various creation stories. Mm -hmm. There's over 500 Native, um, federally and non-federally recognized tribes in the United States. That means that's over 500 different cultures, right. languages, creation stories. Right. Sad because you just don't know much about it. Like, and this is going to sound like a joke, but my grandfather is part Native American. But I don't know nothing about his history, nor yeah. does my family. So we don't even discuss it. We joke and laugh and say, yeah, that boy has straight hair. But other than that, we don't know anything Are about it. Are you Puerto it. Rican? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what, you, what is your nationality? I'm all black. You're all black. All but black. your grandfather is Native They're American. Native American. Mm -hmm. Native American. Okay. And that's exactly, what, that's exactly what it is because our history, it was either black, white, black or white. Right. It was no in between. Mm -hmm. So there was so many Native Americans. Like I said, it was always intermixing. All my black folks that's that's doing the whole picture thing with putting me up and putting a you know a, a light-skinned native next to one another stop doing that because you're you're doing what white folks do mm -hmm. be just be just just i would say this because there's so many um black americans you know even i remember my aunt on my on my father's side she was like you know we got native in us and she was like you know i'm sorry she was like I, we have um cherokee in our family but she did the ancestry dna there's no native on my dad's side at all. It's all African. Right. You don't even have white in him. Right. It's like all African, <laughs> you know? And so the thing is, is that, like, I think it's good for everyone to do, go to your own family tree, go to your own, stop looking, stop letting social media history and memes dictate who you think, to trying to tell you who you are. Yeah. Because there's only one Chuck Creekmer. You know what I'm saying? You know what your family is. Yeah. You're not going to watch a social media post and be like, man, I'm from the, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or they're from the tribe of Gad. Or they're, uh, I'm a Moor. Yeah. Do, are you really? I have heard that so many times <laughs> with my name. You're a Moor. And I'll be like, you you know that you just met right, me right. how do you know me like how do you know my family yeah. so i always say everyone get to know who you are individually who your family is and stop relying on it's it's good to kind of get a basis but man we are not as black people we're not a monolithic people yeah. stop putting us in these little things and thinking that's what we all are because mm -hmm. we all are not please welcome the one and only Yo, Naja Ha Lone Wolf is here. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Wow, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Right now, we're in a time where people are putting pictures of me, and I'm black and native, mm -hmm. <laughs> next to a sitting bull or next to Crazy Horse, and they're saying, look it, she's the real Indian, and he's not. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that type of um, narrative is very dangerous. Yeah, divisive. Um, yeah. It's very divisive, and it's erasure. And I don't, and I'm not for, because we're, al we're already trying to sh show everyone we're not a moniker, right. you know, we're not a monument, we're right. not a mascot, mm -hmm. <laughs> we're not a holiday, mm -hmm. we are still here. And then saying that, oh no, the darker skinned natives are the real ones and the light skinned ones are $5 Indians, I think that's so divisive. Mm -hmm. And I block everyone that puts me in that narrative. Um, because I'm like my mother, so you're calling my mother a five dollar Indian. Now there was, you know, there is history and stories, and we learned that with the old Sage movie yeah. of five dollar Indians. Mm -hmm. But every light skinned native is not a five dollar Indian. What? We're not monolithic people. Nah, we come in all shades and sizes and mm -hmm. colors and everything. And just to constantly, you know, I think with me, um, you know, a lot of people are like, well, she is she denying her blackness or is she denying her nativeness? You know. Um, or she doesn't look like she's black and native, and why does she? Why don't she just choose one? That was something that I always got growing up. Or mm -hmm. am I adopted because my mother? I don't, you know, because I'm not the same skin color as my mother. Like we have a certain stereotype of how we want Native Americans to look.